Why does my child have epilepsy or seizures? Hello, my name is Julia, and I am a licensed and certified genetic counselor. Genetic counselors look at the risks a child and their family have for genetic or inherited conditions. Some people have a genetic cause for epilepsy. Today, I will tell you how we look for a genetic cause of your child's epilepsy. This is done through a genetic test called an epilepsy gene panel. Genes are like the instruction manual for our bodies. Genes determine a lot about how we grow and develop and how our brains work. They are the material in our cells that we get from both our biological parents. Our genes are made up of DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid. This is the inherited material that we get from our biological parents. There are four chemicals in our DNA known by a four letter code, A, T, G, and C. Changes in the order of the DNA letters may lead to a genetic condition. An epilepsy gene panel is one of the tests that checks for a genetic cause of epilepsy or seizures. This test is sent to a lab in the lab, a machine will look at a few hundred of the most common genes that can cause epilepsy. It checks these genes for variants or changes in the DNA letter code. Sometimes these variants in the DNA cause epilepsy. There are three possible results that your child may receive. Positive, negative, or uncertain. A positive result, also called pathogenic or likely pathogenic, means that the test found a genetic variant that may be the cause of your child's epilepsy. Sometimes this genetic variant may also lead to other medical problems. This test result can tell us more about what to expect with your child's epilepsy. It could also tell us that certain medications may be more or less helpful. Other times, there may be no changes to your child's care. A positive result may be important for you and your family members to know about. It may tell family members about their risk of having epilepsy. A negative result means that the test did not find a genetic cause for epilepsy. However, a negative result doesn't always mean there is not a genetic cause for your child's epilepsy. After a negative result, your child's care team may recommend other types of genetic tests. An uncertain result is called a variant of uncertain significance or V-U-S for short. This means that the test found a genetic variant, but we don't know if this variant is what caused your child to have epilepsy or seizures. This is actually a very common type of result. This is because our genes all look a little different from one another, and not all genetic variants cause medical problems. If there is an uncertain result, it can be helpful to have the parents also do genetic tests. The parents' results may help us understand your child's results. It is important for you to know that a genetic variant or mutation is something that happens by chance. If a genetic variant is found in your child, it is no one's fault. A child may have a genetic variant that is brand new and not found in their parents. They may be the only person in the family with the genetic variant and with epilepsy. Your child's care team will go over the results with you, including if there are any changes to your child's care. They will also talk to you about how these results may affect you and your family members. They may refer you to a specialist in genetics or genetic counseling to go over the results in more detail. Now, you may be wondering how to provide your child's sample for genetic testing. This is simpler than you think and is usually done with either saliva or blood. If your child's care team wants to use a saliva sample, you will get a collection kit in the mail. This kit includes tubes for saliva, detailed instructions, and a mail return label. You will then bring the kit to a mailbox or post office to send it back to the lab after collecting the sample. Sometimes a saliva sample is done by spitting in a tube. Other times it is done by a swab rubbed against the inside of the mouth. If it has been more than one week after your child's care team ordered the test and you have not received a kit, please contact the team. Please keep in mind that your child should not eat or drink anything for 30 minutes before collecting the sample. Remember to label the tubes with your child's name and date of birth. 
This is to make sure that the lab knows who the sample belongs to. Your child's care team can provide a few helpful resources about how to collect the sample if you have questions. For a blood sample, your child's care team will order the test and you will bring your child to one of the Stanford labs for the blood draw. Your child does not need to stop eating before this blood test. This means that they may eat and drink as usual unless the care team has ordered other tests that may require them to stop eating. After the lab has received the sample, your child's care team will get the results in about four weeks. They will contact you as soon as they can to discuss the results with you. Before your child takes the test, please be sure to talk to your child's care team about the cost of genetic testing. I hope this video helps you understand more about epilepsy gene panels. If you have questions, please let us know. Thank you for watching.